How many we got? Six so far. These are Jerry Emer's traps, you know. Jerry, man, I'm gonna lose him. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Hey! Hey! You're a whack job, okay? Knock it off. Hey, stupid! When I tell you something, you listen. Hey! I came out here to steal some traps, not wreck his boat. I leave him alone. Hey, he's carving up the seat. Or what, your mother dropped you in your head or something? Hey. Oh. <clears throat> Eli! <sighs> that was real stupid. Hey, Eli, Eli, get off! Get off! Get off. What was that? Where'd he come from? Did you see that? That was amazing. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Now! Hey, come on, what's wrong? Oh, man, he busted the prop. As our people count time, we have lived here since the beginning. Between the mountains and the sea. To us, two animals are sacred. The whale protects the ocean, and the wolf protects the land. When a chief dies, his spear can choose to join with either one. My father was a chief, just like his father before him. Soon after he passed on, a whale showed up in our waters. Some of our people called him Tsukit, my father's traditional name. They believed that his spirit had stayed here with the whale to protect us. Chu, Chu Cha Chamata, Chu Hakwa, Na Atahach. Ah, ko, utlano, mukwena. Chief Ambrose McConnor may be gone, but his spirit is still here. 
Now, uh, to hatch within each and every one of you, within his wife, Gloria, and their son, Mike, finally returned to be with us. I don't know why the whale came to our people. But I was about to find out. Hey, honey. I'm so sorry. Hey, Mike. It's really nice to have you back. Gloria? Mike? He hot with Makuna, Yak Shishunish, Sauchish Nish, Sukit. He said it's a sad day losing our chief. Yeah. So what's it been? Six years since you saw him last? Five. He's here now, Bill. That's what Ambrose wanted. You uh, still logging up Bella Cooler? Can't you find that kind of work around here? Not with my kind of pay. Excuse me. Come on, Mom. Let's go. I think that's Adam. They were stranded in the inlet in a stolen boat. They claimed that they were just out there for the crabs. But then Adam starts cutting out the seats. Any other damage? Kicker's busted. They had to tow him in. They said it was a whale. A whale? Yeah. Look, I think that maybe we'll, we'll deal with it. Hey, Bill, you know I support the whole community justice thing, but this kid. He has to come home. I know you've been doing your best, Miss McQuinnah, but it's only been three days since the chief passed away, and he's already back to his old tricks. Oh, Mike's here now. Sorry? Ambrose McQuinnah's son, Mike, our new chief. Miss Bardecki, my sympathies. Ambrose said that this boy was his responsibility as chief. So you want him? So you knew my father, huh? Oh, let's just go home. How long has he been living with you? About six months. Who's his family? Maggie Ross. Well, that's Maggie Ross's kid? Well, where the hell is she? Died last year. Your dad was the closest thing to a father he had. He's after the fish. Oh, I think he's turned the net. I see, I see, okay? Ernie! 
Marine. You know it's a criminal offense to interfere with a marine mammal. He's after my catch, officer. What are you going to do about it? Ooh. He's coming round. Well, hello there. Man, he's big. He looks young. He was snooping around the salmon farm the last few days. His pod's probably around. Hey there, buddy. Where's your family, huh? He likes you. <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna try to lead him away. If he comes back, you leave him alone and report it. Got me? Oh, I gotcha. Check the damage. You know, his door is still shut. Is that what he does? Sometimes. You know, you got enough on your plate, Ma. They'll put him in foster care. Another lost Indian kid in the system. They'll bounce him around till he breaks. It'll be different now that you're here. I can't stay, I told you. There's always been a Makuna chief, Mike. That's who you are. I'm a recovering alcoholic. That's who I am. Yes. And when I see you like this healthy again, strong, it fills my heart. You understand, Mike? My boy goes away and he comes back a man, ready to carry that strength, ready to be chief. Not that simple. You know, I have my own plans, Ma. You know, I got a promotion last month, and it's a good job. It pays a lot of money. But if I'm not there within the week, it's all gone. And that job, I know I can do. Do you understand that? If you leave, Bill will get the council to make him chief. Your dad didn't want that. Yeah, well, he knows the language, the politics. The band could do a lot worse. So you'll stay for the week? Yes. And I'll do whatever you need me to do around here. Just tell me. Well, there's two things you need to finish for your dad. OK. He was trying to block the new fish farm. He was working with Bill on that. You'll have to talk to Bill and figure a way of stopping fisheries. I haven't been here for about five years. Like, what am I supposed to say about a fish farm? Don't say anything. Just listen. That's what your dad would have done. OK, the second thing. Adam, I want you to spend some time with him. Show me has things inside. Good things, strong things. It's like your dad showed you. OK, but I'm not good with kids. I bet you she has a glass somewhere.
Hey, you wanna go for a ride? Wanna try? People come down here much? I don't know. Not much. You know, we used to live down here when I was your age. My dad ever bring you down here? I can't. It has to be smooth. See? Not so fast. Patient. Touch the water. Go on. What do you feel? What? You feel anything else? You have to let it talk to you again before you throw the stone. Then you have to learn how to wait, how to listen. You keep on bringing me here, how come? It's where you're from. We used to hunt from those canoes back there. We knew how then, because we knew who we were. Chief always has to remember who we are. Is the water talking to you yet? That's it, Mike. Hey, come on. Wow. It's like they've been here forever. Come on, let's clean them up. Take them out. See if they float. Here. Why? Well, to make up to the elders for what you've done. What? Because you say means I gotta do it? Hey. Hey! I can help you now, or you can do it yourself. Got a choice. Grab the tarp. And I knew your mom. Maggie. She was a good person. She had a good heart. You lost your mom and I lost my dad, huh? in the boat yesterday? Yeah. I saw a whale. All right. You know, they come out here sometimes. Well, Ambrose told me that when a chief dies, the spirit can come back as a whale. That's what he told me. Do you think it's true? He's gone, Adam. Father's dead. Let's grab that. Come on, just pull it up.
I think home is what you need right now. Mm. <gasps> I think you and me see things differently. You can't run away from yourself. Do you even know what it's like to be me, huh? I mean, do you even have a clue? People look at you, the man, the guy who doesn't make any mistakes. Me, I'm just a little idiot kid who's stuck in the corner. Can't even tie his own shoelaces. You have a choice to make. Yeah, well, I'm making it now. I'm getting the hell out of here. Reporting from Gold River, a small Vancouver Island town with an unusual visitor, a stray orca whale. Okay, let's get set up over here. Some of their farm salmon broke out of their nets last year. Mixed with our wild fish. We bet. What did the company do? Ha! Ah, apologized. Was my father talking to these guys? Yeah, they started talking, then it all fell apart. Well, we gotta put a stop to this. If the fisheries dealt with my father, they're gonna have to deal with me. This is the one thing I wanna work out. Good. Then it's all yours. What do you mean? I'm going back to Bella Krula. <clears throat> Does the uh, rest of council know about this? You know. You can tell them. Just say it's not rare to find a visiting orca in the inland up here. There are significant resident whale pods that migrate up and down this coast. But this whale doesn't seem to be passing through. Locals report him as uncharacteristically friendly and eager to make contact with both boats and humans. So the sleepy community of Gold River may yet find itself playing host to this spunky lost killer whale for a while. And if word gets out, maybe to the world. Jane Kimball, Channel 6 News. You're such a chicken. I don't know what's going on. Just go talk to him. He's looking at me. Hey. So? Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. Uh, you know, Adam, I kind of need some help down at the old village. With what? You know, with those old canoes? We plan on taking them out, but they need to be cleaned up. What if we're busy? I don't think you're unbusy. Because you know that crap with you guys still on the boat the other day? I think you guys need to make it up to the elders as much as Adam does. All right, see you in a half an hour. Bring some friends. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Cypress Sore Eyes, how you doing? Good. Good. 
Real sorry to hear about your dad, Mike. Thanks. How you been? Hey, a whale in the bay keeps the tax man away, right? <laughs> Can I get you a coffee? Yeah, but could I get it to go? Sure. Do you remember Joe? Hey. Um, I don't, I don't think we've met before. Actually, we have. I was uh, up here doing my field project on herring. It's like seven years ago. <laughs> I don't remember much from seven years ago. If you were here, you'd know that. Uh, it's good to see you again, Mike. So you were with Fisheries? Yeah. A uh, job opened up two years ago, and I really wanted to come back. And my condolences, by the way. Thanks. I really admired your father. He was uh, very clear about where he stood, even if my bosses didn't always agree with him. Yeah, well, listen, uh, as far as that's concerned, I'd love to book some time with you so we could sit down, go over a few things about the salmon farm. Whenever you want. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, it's on the house. Welcome home. I'll see you around, Mike. Yeah. Hey, Adam, finish off the back seat. Brenda can take care of that. Yeah, but I'm already right here. No, go. Yeah. Boats are aging. Hey, Bill. What are you doing? He's trying to get the people back to the water. Figured we'd try them out. <laughs> They're traditional canoes. You know this stuff. I want to make sure we do it right. Hey. Hey, nothing. Show some respect. Don't be smoking around these boats. Bill. Just a little punk. I don't have to do this, OK? Eli, it's OK. I'll take care of this. You know, Bill, we have to give these kids a break. Well, these kids are nothing but trouble. Sure. Look, they're young and bored. We just got to keep them focused. Yeah. Must be nice to come home and be a hero for the week, huh? Look, are you going to help us out or not? Thanks, Bill. OK, guys, let's get something straight up front. I know none of you guys have been in this type of canoe. Our ancestors used them back in the day for hunting. But we have to be safe, OK? So do exactly what Bill tells you, all right? Cool. Bill? OK, let's get it in the water. That's where we saw the whale the other day. Can we go back there? We're gonna go where Bill tells us to go. Oh, come on. It's right there. Why can't we just check it out? Adam, keep paddling. Keep going. We're heading for Mulia Bay. Stop. Stop. Oh, my god. Holy cow. It's amazing. Oh, my god. Whoa! 
It's okay. He's not gonna hurt us. Oh, sweet. He's coming right beside us. Whoa, keep it steady, guys. Oh, look at him. He's coming in, he's coming in. You got it? Oh, amazing. Try and touch him. Touch his nose. Adam, keep your hand in. He won't bite. Oh, that's so cool. You have to feel him. Feels so weird. Try and touch him, he's awesome. Adam, sit down. <laughs> it's not funny. You saw two kids? Yeah. He came up to the canoes. Hey, he followed us in. Whoa, he's swimming after us. What's he doing? Oh my god. Hey, Adam, get away from there. Everybody away from the water. He's going to beach himself. No. He wants to be with his people. He's a wild animal. You don't know what he wants. Look, I need everybody to keep their distance, all right? Mike's right. Until Keith joined with the whale, he doesn't mean to do any harm. All right, everybody. It was a good day. Let's go home. Hey, Mike, he knew you. Just the way he came right up to you? Look, Adam, it's a whale, OK? And I know it's great that he's here and everybody's happy, but it is a whale. OK. OK. You don't think it's like a sign or something? I think it's a whale. Hey, Adam, let him go. Wow, I don't mean to be disrespectful. You know, I know what he means to you. What does it mean to you? This is Jane Kimball with an update on the story of Luna the newly named stray orca who has mysteriously taken up residency near the tiny community of Gold River. We'll catch you later. Anytime. Yeah, yeah, that's Jane Kim from the 6 o'clock news, Channel 6. 6 o'clock news, fish girl, tonight. I told them that we love orcas, any and all. Well, between them and the tourists, we get crazy around here really fast. Hey, you know, maybe I should get some merchandising. Like those stuffed killer whales or, you know, <laughs> keychains. Oh, hats are good. Maybe he'll just leave. Are you kidding? Maybe he'll bring friends and T-shirts. See Luna from Lucy's. <laughs> What's Luna? Thanks. Jane was saying that they were having some kind of a naming contest at the Seattle newspaper yesterday. Oh, you don't like it? Wow, Seattle. There was a presumption earlier this year that the missing orca was dead. But his sudden appearance here on northern Vancouver Island is a cause of celebration in the scientific community. Uh-huh. Now they want to figure out. Okay, plus the fact time. that it's all over the internet. And yeah, and it's right on TV. Right now, I'm watching it. So I've got all these tourists hanging around and. Yeah, well, he broke another sonar yesterday, so the fishermen are going nuts. Now the fish farm says that he ripped one of the nets open, which means we're dealing with escaped salmon, which is an entirely different. So my point, Bryce, I could use some help. Uh, excuse me? Hang on a second. 
Can I help you? Uh, yeah, um, Michael Solomon, OAG, Orca Advocacy Group. We were just on the water trying to monitor the whale. We're sure he's the missing juvenile from El Pond. That's what we figure. Yeah, but he's being buzzed by power boats out there. We assume the fisheries will step in and protect him. Mr. Solomon, I'm doing my level best on my own. Six boats in the last half hour. Bryce, I'll, uh, I'll call you back. OK. I'm going to need you to fill out a report for you. Thank you. Can you show me on the map where this was happening? In effect, all boats must stay away from the whale. I repeat, you're breaking the law. I don't want to have to suspend your licenses. Sir, please back up away from the whale. She loves them. Come on. You need to be 100 meters away from the whale. What the heck is your problem? He loves us. Hello. You are in violation of fisheries regulations. Everyone move. And now this amateur video showing a local fisherman shooting at and missing the young orca has environmental groups concerned for the animal's safety. Here you go, Joe. The data seems to be that if they ignore Luna, then the problem will just go away. We want the fisheries to protect this whale. So far, government officials have declined to comment Sorry. on the activities of the fishermen or Luna. And now to Vancouver, where in I was just trying to scare him. If I wanted to kill him, you think I would have missed? Your license is suspended for a month. If I see your boat on the water, Ernie, I'll impound it. I got a right to make a living. That's my right, and you people are supposed to protect him. Why don't you just do your job? Field Officer McKay? Uh, media requests have to go through head office. I am head office. Couldn't you tell? Ted Jeffries, operations. Uh, Jill McKay. I'm glad to see you. Hmm. So, the whale? Uh, yeah, the orca. Um, well, technically, he's a dolphin. Everyone calls him Luna, but we know him as L-98. Uh, seems to have had a bonding problem with his mother because he disappeared from the l pod in the San Juan Islands last year. We have to fix this. Your gunslinging fishermen's all over the internet, and the minister's office is getting hammered. Yeah, we're getting complaints from Turkey for crying out loud. Plus, the fish farm keeps calling. Apparently, he tore their nets or something. Yes, he tore the nets, and I told them to file a report, just like... We're in business with these people, just like we're in business with the fishers and the general public. They are our key client groups, okay? And your Luna is butting heads with all of them. This is a bad thing. Yeah. So, solution? Please. Seeing as his pot is in American waters right now, we called our friends in Washington State. Uh, to do what? We're giving him back. Which means we've got to capture him. So, he follows your boat? That's the problem. He'll follow any boat. Well, that works. It'll make it easy to lead him into the pen. That's Moya Bay. That's where he normally stays. now. Canoes, please move clear. You are in violation of fisheries regulations. These are more set waters. You can't stop us from being here. Hey, Mike, you could flip that canoe in a heartbeat. Look, I'm sorry, but you're required to keep a distance of 100 meters from marine mammals. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I think we're good. You can't keep us away from our chief. We respect your beliefs, Bill, but this is a, it's a delicate situation. Well, what do you know about our beliefs? Bill. All right, I think we're good here. Come on, Bill, let's take these guys home. All right, let's put some muscle into it. So, they think the whale is their chief? Uh, yeah, it's... Some of their people believe I heard that... Well, I guess you could say that the spirit of the late chief was sort of joined with Luna. Any other details you're not telling me? This is turning into a PR nightmare, Jill. I want this thing managed, okay? Starting now. You want me to hire a media consultant? No, I'd like you to take me back to shore. We're pulling up the capture date. Absolutely. Sir, I grab a seat. Okay. You guys and my father were trying to work out something out around the uh, fish farms. Uh, yes, there were talks, but things kind of fell apart at the end of last year. Ted. Chief Aquina, Ted Jeffries. Saw you on the water yesterday. Yeah, how you doing? Good, good. To what do we owe the honor? Well, I was just looking over my father's papers the back and forth with fisheries about not licensing any new fish farms. Well, I was hoping that maybe we could start talking again. The existing farm is wrecking our fisheries, and a new salmon farm would just basically kill us. Maybe we need to restate the Mochat position to the minister. You know, put it back on the front burner. Well, uh, that would help a lot. But what we'd like is you just to shut down the existing fish farm. Well, I can't make any promises, but Fisheries considers your people to be priority clients. Now, I know there's been some friction in the past, but we just got to keep the communication thing going. Sure. And uh, about the whale? Right. Hmm? Well, you saw. He's very significant to our people. Yes, I did. And I know you have to enforce your regulations, but I was hoping that maybe you could cut us some slack. You know, nobody on our side is gonna hurt the whale. Our side just wants to make sure everyone's needs are taken care of, including the whales. Okay. Well, if you just, uh, you know, consult with the band before making any decisions. Yeah, just so everyone's okay with what's going on. That communication thing, huh? Thanks for your time. Yeah. Mike. We just signed a contract to build a net pan for Luna. I'm, how can you just lie to him like that? I didn't lie. Excuse me? I'm trying to buy us some time. If we leak to the media that Luna's best chance for survival is reunification, then these guys with their reincarnation thing are just gonna look goofy. Problem one solved. Problem two, I wanna control the media. From now on, we trickle feed them the story until we're ready for full blown coverage. The doc down by the old mill. If we put the pen there, can we control access? I suppose. All right, then let's get the dock cleared because the pen stuff will be here in about an hour. What is this, a staring contest? No, I'll make the call. Okay, try her. Okay, stop, stop. Maybe you gotta take her up to the garage. Oh, <laughs> just give me a chance, huh? I don't wanna be pouring any more money into this baby than I have to, but I don't need her stalling when I'm on the road tomorrow. Where are you going? Uh, home. Hey, some of us gotta work for a living. Yeah, but... But nothing. 
If I don't get back, I lose a job. But you've got a job. <sighs> hey, Adam. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Bill is gonna be a great chief. Adam. Hey, Adam, I need you to help me here. There you are. Here, read this. Fisheries already approved the whole fish farm thing last month. It's a done deal. That guy must have saw me coming from a mile away. You tried, Mike. It looks like they're building something down at the old mill dock. Here, do you really think we can What's going on? Ah, Chief McQuinn, I'd like you to meet Murray Novak from the aquarium. It's a pen. I'm gonna trap Suki. Best thing for him, Chief. Back with his pod. Our biologist says he won't survive otherwise, and she knows what she's talking about. You told me you'd consult. I certainly did. When can we all sit down? Band council office, one o'clock. Yeah, we can do that, sure. Call the police. Don't want this area properly secured. That's it. Luna is what's known as a solitary sociable. Orcas who exhibit the highest degree of contact with humans are generally at the greatest risk of injury or death. You're kidnapping our chief, and you want our support on that. We're just trying to protect him. I mean, you guys have seen what's been happening. Yesterday, I found a guy in the dock. He was pouring beer down his blowhole. Last night, he collided with a float plane. His nose is all banged up. Don't even get me started on the damage to the plane. And the owner is screaming about lawsuits. We just don't think he can survive without his pod. Reunification is the only way to go, and we were hoping we could get your support on this. He's here with us because he belongs here. End of story. So what's your plan, or can you share that with us? Well, we'd um, pen him and then transport him down to Washington State. Over land? We work with completely professional teams. They're used to moving large marine mammals, and they do so safely. I'll let Murray explain the details. We plan to lead L-98 into a net pen and close it. We'll take a few days to assess him then move them to Petter Bay near Victoria. Yeah, well, how are you gonna do that? By truck. Oh. It's a flatbed truck outfitted with a special tank. That'll take hours. We estimate 12 hours. Once we get him there, we'll keep him in another net pen. When we know the pod is passing, we'll look for signs of audible communication. Once that's established, we release him. What if it doesn't work? I'm sorry? But what if he doesn't want to join his pod? What if he winds up swimming in Victoria Harbor or Seattle? If we're having problems with him and boats here, it's gonna be 10 times worse over there. Murray has a very high expectation of success. Or first dibs on the whale if the plan doesn't work out. The aquarium hasn't kept Orcas for a number of years. We have no interest in resuming that program. I'm sure there's someone out there who wants a beer drinking Orca with a banged up nose. So you're just gonna do this no matter what we say, right? Yes, we are. You're two for two, buddy. Just so we understand each other. Well, that went well. Who do you think you're working for? Excuse me? How did he know we're trying to sell the thing? Uh, let's see, he took a wild guess. You're telling me you didn't tell him. You didn't answer his question. Oh, I'm asking if you supplied the question. 
What I had to say about your marine land idea, I said to you. And I meant it, Ted. I'm filing a complaint. It's the absolute wrong thing to do. No. You giving information to the band, that's the wrong thing to do. I told you, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I can't believe you actually trusted that guy. Y you know what those people understand? Trouble. Angry Indians, that's trouble. This is our territory, Mike, and that is our orca. Right, so let's occupy the inlet with two canoes and a rattle. Come on, Bill. I could call in reinforcements. You know what we need to do is just get him out of here. What? He's our chief. I don't know. You're convinced that he wants to stay here, right? What are you talking about? Let's lead him out to the ocean, let him make up his own mind. If he swims back to his pod, then they have no reason to trap him and do the overland thing. We could probably save his life. That's crazy. Well, Bill, it's worth a try. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, just getting ready for tomorrow. We're gonna lead the whale out into the ocean, let him find his way home. What? He is home. He's supposed to be here with us. Look, Adam, we're just giving him a choice. You know what? You just want him gone so you can leave too. Look, Adam, the government wants to truck him away, and that just might kill him. All right, I'm just trying to make the best out of a bad situation, pal. Hey, is this how we're gonna end every conversation? Cause it's getting a little boring. Guys, this may not be what everyone wanted. We have to see what the whale wants. If it's lost, maybe we can help its way back home. It's really up to him, but let's just give him that choice. Let Mother Nature take its course. Okay, boys, let's go. Buddy, where are you? Over there. Okay, pick it up.
Woo. Come on, Mike. Strong voice. You have to sing it to make it yours for when you're chief. I don't like it. Why don't you like it? it? Took me a while to learn it too. How come you had to be chief? It's always been that way. What if you wanted to be something else? You want to be something else? Maybe. Learn the paddle song anyway. Just in case you change your mind. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Okay, guys, he's with us. Let's push on through. Let's go. Mary says we'll make it. Holy better. I'm 100 grand over department budget on this thing already. Hey, Adam. What are you doing here? They're taking the whale out to sea. Who? Chief McQuenna. When? Right now. You've done good, kid. Go buy your mom something nice. Let's go. Don't you think we should just let them try? I mean, if Luna just leaves, then... You think Luna's just gonna leave, like the inlet's been blocked this whole time? I think he's disoriented. I tried leading him out, but he wouldn't leave. But he seems to respond to the band, though. So if... I mean, if they can just get him past the sound... So he can turn around and come back, and then I'm two days behind instead of one? Forget about it. I'll take care of this myself. There's a march, Waters. You got no jurisdiction here? Yeah! I warned you. So arrest him. Can I try Sarah Cannon on? Come on, Mike. Be reasonable and do as he says. Right now, you are breaking the law, and there's a $100,000 fine. If you turn the canoes around, we can talk about this on shore. But we're not turning around! Chief McQuinna? This is my last warning. Turn the canoes around. If you want us out of here, you're gonna have to drag us out, you hear me? Drag us out! Yeah! yeah. Hey, Eli, sit down, Eli! Yeah. Thank you, Mr. 
Jeffries, Channel 6 News. Is Fisheries going to press charges against the Moa Chot? Of course not. Fisheries has the utmost respect for the Moa Chot and their beliefs. But I hope Chief McQuinna saw how dangerous this could be for everyone. I hope that Fisheries and the band can cooperate from here on in so that we can be the best for Luna. Thank you. Thank you. Lance, let's go. Chief McQuinna! Can you tell us about what happened out there? Why don't you ask Fishers? I think I made my point. I see you out there tomorrow. I will have you arrested, you hear me? Handshake and we're done, okay? Is Tokito okay? He didn't leave and we couldn't get him out. And we lost a canoe. Be proud of me, huh? Yes, he would. I'm sorry, Ma. He asked me to do one thing. I asked you to try. You tried. See, that's just what I've been trying to tell you. I try. I screw up. That's just the point. I'm not the guy. Is that good? Understand now? Mike. Huh? I'm good. Okay, I just gotta go for a walk. This is local residents and the scientific community. Fisheries plans to capture Luna as a first step toward moving into Puget Sound. But when Luna turned around and swam back into the bay today, some people began to suggest the Moa Chad are right. This is where he wants to be. So as Fisheries moves forward with the reunification plan, the Luna story gets complicated all over again. Jane Kimball, Channel 6 News, Gold River. Hey, Mike. I didn't know that Ted was going to do that. You know, I tried to lead Luna out. First day I found him. And he came back then, too. I guess I was hoping that you'd make it work, that he'd follow you out. Because if he stays here, he'll die. He could die on your truck. He could die wherever you dump him. No, we're not dumping him. He keeps coming back. I figure he knows something that I don't. Maybe he does. You were right about the captivity thing. What? What you said about somebody wanting a cheap orca. Ted's has two aquariums for a bit in case the reunification doesn't work. But I still think that he should be with his family, Mike. Maybe he already is. Mike. Adam's gone and stuff's missing from his room. You know? Uh, no. Hey, can I get a ride? Get over here. Yeah. I got it. Lay off Is that your kid? Yeah. I'm not his kid. He's a liar. He's a liar. Look, my mom makes a home for you, and you run out on her. So? What do you think you're doing? 
Hey, you think you're the only kid who's got a raw deal, huh? Stuff that happens. Get over it. Yeah, right. That's deep. It's the best I got. Jeez, no wonder why you're scared to be chief. Guess you and I aren't so different after all. Maybe you and I should stop running, huh? Come on, get in. My father showed me how to build these so that they'll always start. He was always trying to show me something. But I kind of wasn't paying attention. He is the whale. You know, whales saved us. Back in the day, a whale would offer himself to the hunter. The whole village would eat. But it was the chief who was the only one who would connect with the whale. I didn't know the fisheries guy was going to call the cops. I told him what you were going to do. I just didn't want everybody to leave. It's okay, Adam. Everybody's a little confused. It's not a bad place, huh? Compared to what? I don't know. Bella Coola? Bella Coola could be different. <sighs> Sometimes lonely. This place is lonely. Ah. Uh. Not the same way. Are you still gonna go back? You figure? Brought the canoe back. I won't see that, Bella Coola. Now, do you believe it's your dad? What if we tried protecting the whale instead of capturing? I guess you could call it a stewardship program. We'll work out the details with you guys later, but we'd be on the boats every day in teams, keeping him away from other boats, fishermen. Because if he's not banging into anything, it's Chief, not a problem. Right? Chief, we can talk this round and round until the cows come home. What's at stake here is the whale's survival. At Marineland? We've made some inquiries. We're treating it as a contingency plan, but I really appreciate you guys keeping me in the loop on all this. That's communication. Now, if you'll excuse me. Are you looking for a fight, Mr. Jeffries? No. Listen, it's time to make that call. Get some reinforcements in here. You think more angry guys at the dock is going to change anything? But he'll spin this around and make it look like he's saving the well. It's our fault if anything bad happens. Listen, will you just trust me here, please? Bill, Listen. how about you just trust me? I think we could do something here. I got another plan. I need you to back me. Today, Fisheries plans to capture Luna as a first step towards moving him to Puget Sound, where they hope he'll reunite with his pod. The tensions are running high as members of the local native band head for the water. They oppose the capture, arguing that Luna should decide for himself where he wants to live.
Cops told the clinic to be ready for injuries. Chief McQuinnan, I've been asked to inform you that if you enter the capture area, you will be arrested. You got it? I got it. Is this supposed to get ugly? I hope not, Chief. I guess that's up to you. Good morning. Hi. Saw your report on TV last night. I thought it was a very interesting angle on this story. I'm trying. Looks a little more formal today. With the drums and all? A little. How would you like to be closer to the action? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Anyone who wants to sit this one out, no questions asked. OK, then. We all know why we're here. We have to honor Tsukit and remember my father's spirit. He chose to come back to us. He chose to stay. Some people won't accept that choice because it interferes with business, with politics. And whatever happens, whatever they try to do out there, we have to honor my father's spirit with respect, without violence. And remember, Tsukit came to connect us back to the water. It's who we are. And it's how we honor him. This is Jane Kimball with an update on the Luna capture story. Fisheries plans to lead the lone orca into a net pen they've had specially built here at Gold River, and then move him by truck to Puget Sound near Victoria. Friend's gonna one track mine. Like he's the only one. You just stick to the plan. Is that him? Yeah. All right, harder. There he is, dead ahead. Jill's gonna lead him into the net pen. No one makes a move in those cables until I say so. Now! Hard! 
We're gonna hit them. Just keep going. All right, move in, now. Bloody reporter with them. They, they got a reporter. Hold off. What are you asking for, Mr. Jeffries? All right, forget arresting them, okay? Just cover me. Can you get your boats between us and them? We can try. Stop! Ah. All right, Murray, we're coming in. Let's make this happen. Roger that. He's following us. They're coming in. Everyone get ready. Faster. to sing it to make it yours for when you're chief. Turn this boat around. Let's go. Let's go get him. Turn this boat around. Let's go. Let's go after him. Turn this boat around. Checkmate. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Over here. Anything? 
anything you'd like to say about what happened? Mr. Jeffries can speak for the department. So what's it gonna be, Mr. Jeffries? Another attempt tomorrow? Yeah, Mr. Jeffries, what is it gonna be? We'll issue a press release. Mr. Jeffries, we'd like an official response to our stewardship proposal. Something you might want to put in your press release. You know, if you're out there, we're out there every day, every night, as long as it ticks. You're trying to force something that can't be forced. All we want to do is let him make up his own mind, wherever it takes him. As I said, let nature take its course. Hey, I just want to make sure we keep that communication thing going. Mr. Jeffries, do you have a response to Chief McQuinn's stewardship program? Not at this time. Hey, thanks. That's what I was going to say to you. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Sometimes it takes someone else to help us see inside our hearts. To help us understand what we're capable of. That summer, Luna taught me that I could be chief. Just like my father before me. touched our people in a way we will never forget. And as we gather to honor the passing of Ambrose McQuinna, we welcome his son Mike as chief of the Mawachet Nation, a hereditary chief a McQuinna, as it's always been for us through the ages. finally understood why he had come. My father's spirit was free to go. Just like the water shaped the land, it shaped us too. Luna showed our people that this is where we belong. And he reminded us of who we are, a proud and living culture. <laughs> 